So one of the most common questions I get is, should I leave my AA batteries in my camera if I'm gonna run an external? So typically this will mean someone will want to run a solar pack, but also leave their AA batteries in the camera in case the external starts to lose its power. So I ran a few tests, took a couple videos, uh, ran this on the micro and on the flex. The videos are from the flex, but it will apply to either one of them. So the results are pretty interesting. Might not be what you expect, certainly wasn't what I expected. Uh, but we'll go through those details now. So the first thing I'm going to show, we'll run a nine and a half volts, and this is going to simulate a dying or dead external. So I'm going to plug that into the external jack. Now the next thing I'm going to show is thir a little over 13 volts. So this is going to simulate a brand new set of batteries in the battery tray. I'm going to pull this thing out here so you can get a look at what it looks like. So this is what I built in order to simulate uh, and run power to the internal. Uh, so turn the camera on and as we would expect the red status light is blinking so it's saying the batteries here are dead so it did not choose to run the internal over the external it stuck with the external even though it is completely dead so now we're looking at the status report for this camera and it's saying zero percent so this is really interesting even though there was a perfectly good set of internal batteries at 13, just over 13 volts. They could have run this camera at 100%. It's staying with its 12 volt. So now I'm going to pull the power to the external and let's see what the first status report we get looks like. So as you can see, this status report still shows this, this thing is dead. So now I'm gonna go ahead and wave my hand in front of it and we'll get a uh, picture sent here to us. And uh, once this picture gets sent back to us, we'll take a look at the status report. So again, we pulled that external. There's no more power going in at nine and a half volts. The only thing left is at 13 uh, running off the, the tray. And as you can see, it's now reading 100% and it's showing that the batteries are AA. So the question you might have is, what does this mean in the real world? Well, as you saw, we had the external plugged in and we had, we simulated perfectly good batteries in the tray. As long as that external was plugged in, there was no way that camera was going to use the AAs. So you can't run AAs for backup, at least not exactly in the way we simulated. So th there is a method where you could run an external and you could run AAs and they would both work. So what you would have to do is run an external where when its voltage got low, it would completely cut itself out. So down to zero volts, because remember, as long as that camera sees that there's voltage coming in from the 12 volt, it will not kick on the AAs. So what sort of system works like this? Well, uh, a lot of the newer lithium systems have what we would call a buck converter or a DC to DC converter. So the basic idea would be you have a lithium cell and it might be producing about four volts or potentially around uh, 12 and a half volts. And that converter would upgrade it to about 13 volts. Now, what happens as that cell starts to die, as those cells start to lose power, their voltage will go down. But the voltage the camera sees doesn't change. It stays at 13 volts. So up until the moment that all those cells are completely drained, you'll get 13 volts to the camera. But the second, that they are completely drained, the circuit on the lithium uh, cells will kick on and it will shut them down completely. So if you were measuring it, you would have zero volts. So what does this mean? Your, it means your, your camera's out there running, it sees 13 volts from, an ex, from its external and it'll run off that. So what happens the moment those internal cells hit a voltage where the protection circuit determines that they can't go any lower or they'll risk damaging each one of the cells. The circuit will cut it off to zero volts. It'll shut it down completely, allow it to, uh, if you have solar, allow it to recharge. So when this happens, your solar pack will be recharging and your AAs can take over. So uh, you might have a particularly cloudy week, right? It snows and then it's cloudy and the external solar pack runs out of juice. Well, your AAs will kick in keep your camera running until that solar pack can charge back up to where each cell has enough voltage that it decides, yep, I can kick on again. So once that kicks on again, it's gonna be 13 volts. That's what you're gonna see at your camera. So your camera's gonna read 
doesn't matter you know what's going on inside of that solar pack it could be run down until it's at zero percent right so it's almost dead camera has no way of knowing it's going to read 13 volts because of that con that dc to dc converter so you, you have 13 volts to the camera uh up until the point where it kicks completely off now your aas take over and if you're running alkalines you'll actually be able to watch them decrease over time so if there's any other sort of testing you'd like me to try out, let me know in the comments below. I'm working on getting a power supply that can read amperage, so we'll actually be able to see the power draw these things. And uh, until next time, thanks for tuning in.